Hi everybody. So today we're going to be doing stained glass watercolor. It's lots of fun to experiment with different watercolor techniques. So today we're going to use just regular table salt and saran wrap. Oh, and if you don't have saran wrap, aluminum foil is going to work too. So, and we need some painter's tape or some tape just to put on our paper. So I'm going to start off by making a really cool pattern. And remember, it's all your art, so you get to decide whatever pattern you want to put on. I'm going to actually put on quite a bit. Some people might just decide to do a quick design, but the more sections you have, the cooler it is going to be. So I'm just gonna work my way over and just random, I'm not like planning anything, I'm just putting my tape down in different spots. Okay, it's just gonna stop the paint from going on these spots. This is so much fun. Okay, I think I might get, be getting too crazy here, but let's do that. That looks cool. So we're gonna do different kinds of watercolor. Okay, so let's give this a try. So this video is gonna be a couple different ones because we're gonna have to let it dry too. So I'm gonna show you that. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna create, I'm doing a puddle here. I'm gonna do puddles on most of them because I wanna kind of like Make it so the, the paint kind of does what it wants to do. So I'm going to go in first with pink. I'm going to make, I'm going to add, I'm using a plastic plate today because my palette, I have been working on some illustrations the last week and a half and my palette is messy. So I didn't want to show you that today. Okay, so we're going to go across like this. And I'm going to just... You can add more and more just to get your color nice and bright if you like. Or you can even add some different colors to it. Like we kind of didn't, we did this in an experimenting one. So I'm gonna make purple. So purple, I'm gonna put pink and blue together and I know that's gonna make an awesome purple. Okay. And I'm gonna go through the pink one and I'm just gonna add little Dollops. I think I need to add a little bit more water. Oh, purple. See how I'm going to just work it through? I'm just working it through the puddle. Remember the wet on wet. So I like that. I like the different colors. What I'm going to do now with this one is I'm going to try to do some different techniques, but we're going to start with the table salt one. So take your table salt, but make sure you try to keep it in that area, right? So you don't get it everywhere, but Let's try that. Ooh, that's gonna be so cute. So I've got some smaller ones and I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So I'm gonna go into this one. You know what? I'm gonna add some different colors to my palette. I'm gonna use yellow. We all know I love yellow. How can you not like yellow? It's such a happy color. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on a little bit darker. So I didn't add so much water to the paint and we're gonna put that one through. And I'm actually going to have just slivers of maybe a regular kind of color in there without any, any salts or any saran wrap. So I'm just gonna go in and we're gonna do, remember, sometimes if you don't do a puddle, it gets even darker. So we're putting it on dry paper. So we're gonna try lots of different kinds of things. So feel free to make something up. Make up your own pattern. Do you know what's kind of crazy? I want to show you this. The pink kind of ran off through my tape and it's kind of bleeding into the yellow, but I'm going to just let it do its thing. So I'm going to go in here and do another yellow. And then, okay, just like this. Oh, we have dog hair here. And I noticed Zach is coming to say hello. Zach, can you say hi, hi. to everybody? We're doing a watercolor painting. Ooh. What color should I do the next triangle, Zach? I'm gonna let you decide, or the next shape. Blue. 
blue, okay, Zach wants us to do blue. So do you want us to use table salt to do some crazy stuff or do you want saran wrap? Let's do saran wrap on this one, okay? Mm. I'm gonna show you. I don't know what that means. I know, it's because it's gonna look super cool. But this one's bigger, so we're gonna clean my brush extra good because there's still pink on it. We're gonna make our petal. We're gonna take our blue. We're gonna work our blue through. Just Whoa. like, yeah, isn't that cool? Okay, I want you, Zach's going to help me here. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, so Zach, I want you to kind of smush up this plastic wrap. Smush it up like that. We're going to show everyone what you got. All done. All done. Well, let's see what Zach's got. Okay, so we're going to unsmush it a little bit. But Zach put in a cool smushing and we're gonna go in and we're gonna lay it right on top of our paint and we're gonna let that dry like that. And you know what the cool part is? Is it's gonna have a really neat pattern. So we're gonna keep smushing, smushing, smushing. Oh, I know what you're doing. What? You're gonna make it all swirly. Uh, kind of. So what's the next color, Zach, we should use? Do you want green here? Uh, no. Okay, what color there? Yellow. Yellow. Another yellow one. Actually, add another color. What color? Orange. Orange. Okay. Actually, aqua. Aqua. Like marine. Aqua marine. Let's do that. Okay. Aqua marine. Okay. Should we do salt in this one, Zach? Yeah. Can you come? I'm gonna get you to do the salt. So Zach's gonna help me today, guys. I'm so lucky to have such a good little helper. Come over here. We're actually, we're gonna let it dry just a little bit on its own. We're gonna come back with the salt because I wanna see what that does. Okay, what? where should we put aquamarine here too? No. Okay. Here. Okay, Zach wants to put aquamarine here. And this is a cool way. If you can't think of things, just yell, what color mom, what color dad, or what color to your siblings or friends and the color they tell you, put it into your shape. Aquamarine, you said? Yeah, aquamarine. Okay, should we do, let's do a piece of really cool saran wrap on there. So. I'll do it. Okay. Well, I need that. you to smush that up. Perfect. So All I'm, done. Are you? Okay, we're gonna go in with our aquamarine. I think I have water on my hands. Do you? That's okay, it was from me licking the water with my brush by accident. So we're gonna do this. Zach was nice enough to smush it up. Can I use this shape? right here? Can I use this right here? Of course you can. Zach always, I love having his help. So let's do some more colors. Let's do some more pink. I want to put pink here. And let me grab some pink. Oh, I know what, what next. What next? next? Okay. We're just going to keep putting it down and then we're going to come back with our salt. But, but the colors ran out. But okay. the color ran out. I'm gonna take some salt and I'm gonna put it on your aquamarine. Is that okay? What? what? Just like this, guys. <coughs> Zach still has a cough. We've been having lots of colds in our house the last couple weeks, haven't we, Zach? No, just me. Just you? Well, yeah. Okay. Mom, where's the purple? Purple, we have it right here. It's pink. What color? What yeah, colors make purple, color. everybody? Blue and red, but we can use pink too. Does that make a nice purple? Ooh, so yeah. where, which one do you want to be purple? Uh, this one and this one. Okay. Okay, this one we're not gonna do the salt, but the other one we're going to. Should we probably put the that mm. thing down? Mm hmm. Put what thing down? That's okay. No. Oh, you want to put more saran wrap? Okay, smush it no, up. No, no, I meant, shouldn't we take it off? Take it off? No, we don't have to. Oh. Would you like to put that on this one or no? Yeah. Okay, I need you to smush it up. Always smushed it up. This is a great it. family project. Oh, no, I put yellow in the, ooh, that's kind of a muddy color. I yeah, don't like that. Yeah, it's a mud color. We're not going to go with that one. Muddy colors always happen when you take two colors that are, are across from each other in the color wheel. 
And sometimes it, if you want muddy color, that's good. But if you don't, okay, should we put that saran wrap on this one, Zach? I want to do it on purple. On the purple. Okay. Do you want to open it up a bit? I squished it good. You did squish it good. I got it. I got it. I'm sure everybody else. So you're going to do it. Okay. You put it on. So you got to push it on just like that. Perfect. We're having fun here and it's so simple. We're just yeah. letting the paints kind of decide what to do. And it's going to look like stained glass. It's going to look like stained glass. Okay. We're going to do, I want to do yellow. Can we do yellow, Zach? Yeah. Okay. But I want to do yellow. But don't do the body color. <laughs> no. I want to add some water. I want to do yellow with some salt. Do you want to do the salt part? Do you want to pick up some of the salt and drop it right here? Do you want to come over here though to do it? Can I grab all this? Just grab a pinch and sprinkle it on there, on the yellow. Good. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay. But see how we're doing it as a family? It's lots of fun. You wait. guys can do all sorts of ones. And I love to use this kind of paper for making birthday cards. And I'm kind of excited because I have a play date tomorrow. Yes, you do. You do have a play date. Okay, Zach, next color you get to pick. Pick from the pile of colors. And ooh, my water's really muddy, but that's okay. We're almost at the end. Okay, what color? I'm Zach needs to pick. Zach, hurry and pick. We need to do another one. We need two. We need one more color to do the little ones. What color? We're going to let him pick. So you yell to whoever's in your house, what color? Pick a color. And let's do just random colors everyone chooses. And then actually, maybe I'll do another light tutorial blue. to show you how to do light a blue. card from not, it. Not, not dark blue. Okay, would you like light. to put the light blue? Don't put tons on, remember, because we're just doing little bits. I actually just used all these paints and was at a birthday party doing a paint part. Oh, that's lots, baby. Good job. Okay. We were doing a paint party today. Lots of kids. And oh, we had so much fun with the watercolors. Watercolors are just a blast, aren't and, they, Zach? And, yeah, and I got Fortnite today. Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Well, let's not say that just in case other people don't want that game. Because that's always it has to be from... Should a, I put some salt? You can put some salt. Yay. Okay. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more light blue. Thank you for helping me, Zach, with my video. This has been fabulous. Okay, so we've got everything the way we want it. So I'm going to do some doodles in them after, after it dries, but I am going to let Zach finish up the salt, and I'm going to wait for this to dry, and I'm going to be right back, and we're going to see what we have to work with. I'm so excited. I'll see you right away. Hi everyone. So I'm back. So I just wanted to show you some of the salt areas are still a little bit wet. But when it dries, you can take a brush and just kind of work the salt off your paper. So be careful when you pull the tape off. And guess what? I'm going to tell you, sometimes when you use tape and paper, sometimes the paper gets ripped. So what I did here is this came off a little bit and I just used a little bit of glue to stick it back down. And in my area, I guess I got overly excited about making big puddles and it kind of went through the tape and that happens. So what I'm going to show you is I like to do some doodles on them too because like I said I use this a lot you're gonna notice I still have some salt here it's wet and I'll take that off later um, but I want to show you I like to decorate them because I do I like to make cards and tags and all sorts of things out of something like this so just the random kind of shapes and you can use it for even your collage work but this one had salt on it and isn't it cool the effect it leaves and this one was the saran wrap so it's kind of like a magic trick you don't know how it's going to end so I'm going to show you I'm going to actually take a pink I'm hoping these work usually I check my markers before and of course I have one that might not and it's purple I just used this one yesterday, so it should still be good. 
Okay, I guess I have to go through my markers. Okay, so I'm gonna take a purple line with a ruler. I'm using a ruler so I get a nice straight line all the way down. So you don't have to do it like this. I just really enjoy sometimes making the lines, the outlines. I always wanna make sure my ruler's nice and clean before I put it down again. And I might not do all of them, but I'm gonna do some. So I'm gonna take my ruler, and of course my head is probably in the way. I'll get it out of the way in just a second. And see where it, the bleeding lines are from the tape is I'm just gonna go over it with a marker because I don't wanna worry. This was just a fun project, right? So we shouldn't get upset if things like that happen. We just find a way to make it work. And doesn't that make it work? So I'm gonna go through. Where else? I'm gonna go here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because sometimes we can just doodle. And you know what? If you even felt like it, if you like to write things, you could write things in the lines. Like, have a great day. Happy birthday. Only if you're making it into a card. But if you're not, you could just write little things and then you could always frame these too. They're so much fun. And I like just kind of experimenting with my paint. Oh, I love it. So cool. So I might do one more. I'm not gonna outline everything, just that's a choice. And if you decide to outline everything, go for it. And I'm super excited, send me in some pictures. I know last week was bad and I didn't put in mine. I was a little bit late with a video. It doesn't happen very often, but we just had lots going on around our house. and. I'm sure you guys were busy too. It was Mother's Day weekend and it's spring. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to do something kind of like that I like to do. So you feel free to go in and decorate your little cubes or in the lines. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually, I love doing just straight lines. It's kind of called hatching and it's where you kind of put shading spots in and I do that a lot for my drawings. So this is my doodling. I love straight lines. They just make me happy. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So there's my doodle and that helped me with those bleeding lines, right? That we saw. I made it work and that's the thing about art is kind of making things work. And you know what I'm going to do? So like I said, when you doodle, you just kind of go with it. You decide on how to, I'm gonna do one more outline this way. And if you decide not to do markers at all, that's kind of cool too. You could do that. You could just have it where it's just painted because they look perfect. But I just wanted to, want to balance mine out a bit and do three of my spots where I do the hatching it's called. You can do it that way and you can even do lines the other way, but I'm just gonna do one just like this. Gosh, these are so much fun. Your parents are gonna have fun with this too. If you could get them to sit down and do this project, they're gonna go, oh, but they're gonna love it. Even parents are super creative. We just sometimes forget sometimes on how to do that. We forget how much fun it is. So see if you can talk them into sitting down and doing this project with you. Just like this. Oh, I think you can hear Zach in the background. He sure helped me out with it. It was fun. So I'm not gonna go in, I really like it like this. So I'm not gonna go in and do doodles in here, but feel free to, but I wanna show you, remember you can use your dry brush and you can kind of work the salt off. And you can even use your finger too. Just make sure it's not wet. Sometimes when you put that salt on, it takes a really long time for your paper to dry. Perfect, just like that. And there's some here. And then I've got all the salt. I'm gonna go like this. And it's perfect. I absolutely love it. I think it's a lot of fun. So send me some pictures of your random stained glass watercolor and let's see what they turned out like. I'm super excited. 
See you next week.